there. You are my friends. Thanks for joining me. It's Friday. Yay. I don't know why. We just love Friday so much. Well, we have such a fun show. You're just going to stick right here with us the whole time because we're going to talk about delicious, nutritious pumpkins, also a boo fest and gingerbread, and finally, beggars and ghosts. I mean, this is like such a fall Halloween show. So it's going to be really fun. All right. You know, we got our early ballots. In Arizona, we're getting them now, so, you know, we're going to vote. I'm going to say one thing about the political season, and this is like a positive thing. I think, I don't think there's any undecided people. I think people pretty much know where they're going to vote right now, so my prediction is we're going to know pretty early on, at least in Arizona, like, who's the head of the race here? Because everybody's going to, like, get that ballot right in on early voting. All right, so it's, it's kind of fun. I think it's exciting, you know, to see what happens. And speaking of exciting, you know, there's so many beautiful, hard winter squash, including pumpkin, you know, in the markets today. So you can just get all this great stuff. Well, you know, I don't know about you, but I always think about pumpkins as as decoration, like, you know, just put out on your porch to look really good, wonderful squashes, or, of course, jack-o'-lanterns. However, I have our wonderful Rita Carey Rubin with us, and you know how to do pumpkins. You are a registered dietitian. You're also a diabetes educator and the host of YRMC's Your Healthy Kitchen. So, Thank yes, you. so yeah. you have pumpkin things we can cook we can eat pumpkin you can eat pumpkin don't yes. gnaw on your jack-o-lantern but you have tricks <laughs> yes the field pumpkins the jack-o-lantern pumpkins aren't so great not so good Show the yeah candle they're not so good rest. but um but pie pumpkins so um the little guys and they're a little different mm -hmm. than your your jack-o-lantern pumpkins they are. for instance they're, they're okay. sweeter they're a little bit darker the flesh is a little darker and they're not quite so stringy you know, so, oh good yeah. yeah it's sort of like spaghetti squash mm -hmm. when you're trying to, to yeah, do pumpkin to cook jack-o'-lantern you can eat the seeds in the jack-o'-lantern <laughs> but um but yeah the pumpkin itself okay. is okay like, yep. and are they labeled when you go to the store do they say that they, you they know, do. what kind of pumpkin they are they do and, okay. and they're always little so you can usually Small. tell you know, right. don't get the 50 pounder they're not just like undeveloped you know other kind of no pumpkin, nope, nope. Know, halloween just, pumpkins just a different kind of pumpkin okay so yeah. we have a a cooking pumpkin basically mm -hmm. what did you call it a pie pumpkin a pie that's pumpkin what called yes because that's usually <gasps> How most people eat pumpkin. Right? That's all I That's think of it. Thanksgiving, I mean, yeah. Pie. Yeah. So what do you what do you do with pumpkin? You like have pumpkin drinks? You have... We could. I haven't tried yeah, that I yet. Suppose. But uh, yeah. For your morning smoothie. <laughs> you could actually it would be great in a smoothie. Yeah. Um, yeah, pumpkin is so versatile. It can be um, sweet or savory. You know, we think okay. we think a lot about sweet with pumpkin bread and pies and cookies and. Right, and, right, and all that, but um, it's really delicious in savory dishes, and it's it's it could be used in place of any winter squash, or even potato okay. in some recipes. So um, oh, just takes no on kidding. those savory flavors really well. Wow, I can just see it mm -hmm. now. You know, pumpkin fries. You, could, I, you <laughs> probably could. Yeah. So where do we start with making? because so they're so hard. They're I hard. Like, how do you cook these? I got, I got this guy started already. Okay. Um, so yeah, cut them in half, and. You just scoop out those seeds and and save them. Actually, okay. they're wonderful for roasting. And There's so little meat on. I mean, it's surprising how little there seems to be of the flesh. That's right. That's, it's almost that's the seed stuff. Yeah, there's okay. not much to them. So I just scoop the seeds out and that um, that stringy stuff. In a pie pumpkin, it's not it's not quite so um, there's not quite so much of it as there is oh. in a jack o' lantern. So, so you more just, seeds, yes. Yeah, so you just okay. clean that guy that stuff off. I rinse I rinse the seeds in a colander uh -huh. to roast them. And to roast them, there's lots of different ways to roast them. You can coat them in oil or butter, or just put them on a on a sheet pan with a little oil underneath. Um, and then just bake them. You just bake stuff? them. Yeah, or okay. you can improve upon them a bit. And, uh, <laughs> with your spices and <laughs> with stuff. Spices. And what did yeah. you do on these? So I those, on these. yeah, that's a curry. Mm. So it's curry powder, cinnamon, black pepper. I would eat one, pepper. but it makes a noise. No. It, it is, they are really <laughs> crunchy. And again, I'm really crunchy. What I do is I boil them first oh. in some salty water, and that actually helps to flavor them a little bit. 
okay. and uh, and then toss them with a little bit of egg white and then the spices. And, and are these good for you? They're they really are healthy to do it that so way. nutritious, super okay. high in fiber, um, zinc, which is really good at this time of year because yes. it helps bolster your immune we system. We don't get cold. We don't get stuff. cold. Yeah. Yes. So magnesium, omega three fatty acids, really. They help so lower cholesterol. You know all this stuff. Okay, so we got it cleaned out, and then you're left with this really hard shell. How do you cook this really hard shell? So you can roast it, um, just like a like a winter squash in the mm -hmm. oven. You could put a little oil or butter on it. You can steam it, which is what I did to make our soup today. Pumpkin oh. soup is um, one of By my. By steaming, favorite. you put a little water in a pan with, uh, you know, <laughs> like saran, uh, not saran, but uh, like a glass, a tin foil, something yeah, like that. Yeah, you know what I put have is oven. one of those, you know, those spaghetti pots with the colander yeah, inside. Yeah. So I just steam it in that. Literally with water on the stove. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Okay. So steam it till it's soft. And for soups, you can flavor it in so many ways. You could do like a, like a traditional Thanksgiving flavors with leeks and sage or some curry powder and ghee and ginger. Or my favorite is to make Thai uh, pumpkin soup. So they're, re they're really mm -hmm. versatile. All versatile. right, Thai yes. pumpkin soup, yeah. two minutes. Let's see what it does. It is, How do you do this? It is so easy. So we got um, <laughs> okay. steamed pumpkin. Uh -huh. and, um, just steamed it, and then when it cooled, I just scooped out the flesh. We throw away the skin, can't eat that. Okay. There's a little bit of salt in there. I've got a can of coconut milk. Oh, wow, that or is the that. most popular versatile thing next to pumpkins. Yeah, there's a lot of coconut being used <laughs> it is. these and days. And it's really healthy for you as well, It is. It's it? a very healthy food, good healthy fat. And, you know, you can really put as much as that as of Do you make these up yourself? As you want. Um, this I got a little clue from. There's a wonderful website called 101 Cookbooks. Oh, okay. And so this is a little bit of an adaptation from a recipe from there. And then, um, so we've got squash, coconut milk, chili paste, and I like to put some red pepper in there. Hmm, so okay. this is some roasted red pepper. You could also just put chopped up raw red pepper in there. Okay. So we'll throw some red pepper in and fire it up. There we go. And it turns into this beautiful Isn't that a pretty color. color? Yes, I love that color. Yeah. That's absolutely gorgeous. I'm just and it looks delicious already, Rita. Yep, yep, and it smells great too. Oh, in 30 it? seconds. 30. How do we garnish this after you oh, heat it up and stuff? Lots of ways. We can uh, put some, uh, it's really perfect with some lime juice. So you, you squeeze, squeeze the lime. Squeeze a little okay. bit of lime on there. A um, little bit of yogurt you could top with it, or some uh, some fresh cilantro. Cilantro is lovely flavor with. And you that. have ginger here too. Is yeah, that something so that too? that would be again some other okay. ways you could flavor the pumpkin. So gin ginger, nice. I've done a soup with ginger, ghee, uh, curry powder, uh, lime. Nice, and this yeah. is a hot soup usually. It's a hot soup. All yeah, right, so we'll delicious. It, it looks so, you know, I can just see coming home to something yummy and delicious and warm like that. Oh, yeah, it's very yeah. filling and well, comforting. Well, Rita, Carrie Rubin from Yavapai Regional Medical Center, thanks so much. Oh, always a pleasure Great to be here. Great tips. Thank I'm going to, like, not just carve a pumpkin, I'm going to actually make some soup this year. Right. <laughs> Great. Yum, thanks. <clears throat> Nutritious, versatile pumpkin. All right, don't you go away. When we come back, we're going to talk about a boo fest and zoo fun with the animals for Halloween and also a gingerbread village and then ghosts and beggars. So we'll be back.